Okay. This is Land Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I've been thinking of replacing my 6 Series. It's in perfect working condition, but it's five years old now it's out of warranty and if problems start happening this car will be very expensive to maintain plus it doesn't really have much of a back seat so it's a little difficult with the baby so i was thinking of getting something bigger uh we have the q7 but it'd be nice to have something a bit more family friendly over here so the new land cruisers just come out the 2022 land cruiser 300 and I definitely want to check it out. It looks interesting. They've updated all the interiors and all that. So today we're going to head to the Toyota showroom to do a test drive and uh, have a look at the new car. And I'll let you know what I think. So guys, today we're going to be checking out the all new Land Cruiser. Now, the Toyota Land Cruiser is probably the most popular car in the Middle East. I mean, every kid who grows up in Dubai probably wants to have a Land Cruiser. So this is the brand new one, completely redesigned for 2022. You can definitely tell it's a Land Cruiser from the side. The proportions haven't changed that much, but uh, there are a few distinguishing features from the front. So if you see over here, they've got all new LED headlamps, as well as an all new grill with like these new chrome inserts. Honestly, it looks really nice. I do like these smaller LED headlamps that they have inside. From the side, as I said, it looks almost similar to the previous Land Cruiser, which you can see right here. So this is the older Land Cruiser, and this is the new Land Cruiser. So you can see they've changed the back area over here a little bit. Now at the back, you can see they've changed the rear tail lights as well. They've got a nice souping LED over here. And this, of course, is the VXR with a tailgate attachment over here. But yeah, overall, it's a nice design. So here are the latest rims coming from the Land Cruiser. Honestly, I really like the design of them. They look super cool and modern and shiny. <laughs> uh, it looks honestly quite similar to the new Nissan Patrol. It's got the similar angular headlights and tail lights. And honestly, the overall shape looks quite similar to the Nissan Patrol. But let's check out the inside. I think that's where they've made the most improvements. This interior is a huge improvement over the previous Land Cruiser and my father-in-law actually owns a Land Cruiser of the previous generation so I'm quite familiar with it so over here you'll see the the steering wheel has this nice insert over here it's not real wood you can it feels like plastic but uh, it does give it a nice premium look all the buttons and switch controls over here feel really high quality and dampened over here you'll see they've got a large led cluster as well but it's not a full digital display so you still do have dials over here now the center console over here is really nice honestly you get a huge screen over here i don't know the exact size of it probably like maybe 13 inches diagonally but ultra wide so it does look super nice and you've got all your major controls over here climate control over here and you can also quickly go to maps or menu or audio directly from here and here is your 4x4 mode differential lock you've got the hold button over here so you've got auto park hold this is the new gear lever as well quite comfortable nicely done over here you see there's a wireless charging pad and if you open this little compartment, you see there's a USB and a USB-C. This car has a JBL sound system. So you'll see the JBL speakers right there. Now, of course, this car is extremely off-road capable with all its uh, off-road features, a differential lock. So you can see that you can even individually control your diffs over here. So you just want rear diff or forward diffs. I mean, there's a lot of customizability if you want to take this car off-road. Here you get your standard controls along with memory seats. They've used the same four wooden, you know, inserts everywhere. It's all across the dash over here. It does give it a nice premium look, but it's not the highest quality considering the price of this car. But you do see the nice leather seats over here. They're perforated and you have like heated and cool seats in here. And uh, this center armrest thing is pretty cool. So if you see, you can press it from this side and open the armrest and it's a huge space that you get in here. 
but then if you press it from the other side it kind of opens the other way around first time i've seen something like that in the car over here is the glove compartment good amount of space in there as you can see and of course big cubby holes on the side over here enough to fit a large bottle these seats also fully adjustable now this is the back seat of the car and uh, you can see we have some nice big screens in this uh, you know vx model and a nice climate control system as well for the rear passengers honestly this feels like a really nice place to be at the back of the car you have plenty of options as well to put in USB-C and you've got a full HDMI port down here as well that allows you to plug in. You can plug in the console into this thing and play it on the screens at the back. That is pretty cool. So nice AC system. Land Cruisers always have had amazing air conditioning systems. And you've got a nice center arm desk over here with your normal cup holders. This goes back and you can flatten these seats out if you want some extra space at the back and again we've got the JBL speakers and the fold wooden side panels and if you look all the way in the back you'll see there's some smaller seats over here which can be folded down and made into a flat back storage the previous model had them kind of on the sides this time they've given you completely flush seats and there's a decent amount of space in here honestly this doesn't look too bad in terms of like foot space so here you go specs and prices pretty much all of them have the same engine the four liter four by four it's 271 horsepower 385 foot pounds of torque and i don't think they're showing the exr model over here which is the cheapest one 230,000. The GXR has, is 259, which doesn't have the cool seats and some of the nice features at the back. And then the model we just looked at, 290,000 almost. So yeah, you can take a look at the whole spec sheet over here. So this one over here is probably the one that you would want to get. This is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. This one does 409 horsepower. Now the four liter car is actually less powerful 3.5 liter because this has a twin turbo on it so you can see the price is a bit more expensive as well so for the vxr model 3.5 liter it's 350,000, and this is replacing the v8 from the last generation the 5.7 liter v8 this one has a few more options in it so we're going to go for a quick test ride it's all touch screen right oh it's got the split screen thing you can so the main difference is the heads up. Head up display and blind spot. Blind spot. Cameras. Four cameras. And the engine and transmission 10 speed. 10 speed transmission. And you get these red and black seats. Yeah, this is the only one which is coming with red and black. quite a lot more pull so even though it's a 3.5 liter engine yeah and you are driving now in normal mode we still have a sport and a sport mode a sport plus so that you change that from here we can change yes and this particular car has an adaptive suspension adaptive yes oh, so it's got a lane, lane departure, departure warning yes. vibrates the whole steering wheel and, uh, brake pedal as well and suspension will be sport mode you can do it as yeah, just it's changing on the, the small uh, screen okay. here. This is a sport plus you sport feel. Sport plus. <laughs> <laughs> and the bonnet has a scoop. Mm -hmm. What is that for? Visibility? Design, visibility, aerodynamic, everything. Full, full bit. Full. Alright guys, just done with the test ride. Now, uh, it's a huge improvement over the previous Land Cruiser. Much better interior, more refined. The engine also is quite a bit more powerful. I think the 3.5 liter V6, which is the more powerful version, does 0 to 100 in about 6, 6.5 seconds, which is not bad for a large vehicle like that. But it still has that big 
body feel that land pinnacles have, which I'm not a big fan of. If you like that, if you like like super comfortable, you know, like driving like a ship kind of feeling, uh, it's it's great, and I'm sure it's going to be an amazing off-road vehicle and all that. But it's not really my taste, so uh, don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed the new Land Cruiser, and uh, but I don't think I'm going to buy one. Plus, the price is a bit steep. I think the 3.5 liter V6 is just powerful enough. Probably not going to be the most enjoyable driving experience with the 4 liter V6, which uh, you know is about 50,000 dirhams less. So uh, that's it for this video guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of the new Land Cruiser in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.